Hey guys, Lisa Salvatore here. Thank you for stopping by. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. For those of you that have been with me before, welcome back. I am an intuitive healer and advisor. I specialize in tarot, astrology, and Reiki. And I have been doing monthly readings for each sign for the general collective. So keep in mind that these will not necessarily resonate with everybody. But if you happen to come upon this channel or you are listening, I hope that you do get to take something away from the message for your sign. Now, I always tell everybody to also listen to not just their sun sign, but their rising sign and their moon sign as well, if you know those other placements in your birth chart. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just read your sun sign. It, um, <laughs> sorry, just listen to your sun sign. But if you do know your rising and your moon, they're likely in a different sign. So you may want to listen to those as well because the rising sign is also a huge part of your personality. Sometimes you resonate with that more than you even resonate with your sun sign. And then the moon is your emotional body. So, you know, you may want to listen to that as well if you know it. If you want to know those placements and you don't, you can use a free online calculator. You can go to astro.com or I believe Cafe Astrology also has a free online calculator where you can pop in your birth information. You do need the exact time to get the accuracy. And you pop that in and it will tell you your um, other placements. And I would say definitely listen to the rising sign slash ascendant because those two words are interchangeable for the same thing. And then also your moon sign. All right, uh, that's the most important. Now, um, I will be doing another video series that where I will go over the chart and why it's important to learn your placements. Even if you don't wanna have it done professionally, you just wanna learn it for yourself. I will explain more about that in that video series that'll be coming up into 2020. So do subscribe to my channel if you are interested and you have not done so yet to be notified of these new videos. Um, and also new readings as they are posted. I'm going to be doing a video for each sign, going starting at Aries and going all the way through Pisces. So again, this is for the month of December and it is for the general collective. So take what I say with a grain of salt um, if it does not resonate with you. If it does resonate with you, please take what it is with you and apply it for yourself where you need to or where you know it should go. Thank you for again, for being with me. I also wanna mention, I do have some really cool discounts available for the month of December. I don't normally do this. I am having 20% off of everything. That includes email readings, that includes um, online uh, tarot consultations over the phone, in person, Reiki sessions, and gift certificates. So there's also 20% off of gift certificates. I don't normally do this. I'm doing this as a thank you to my clients and my followers subscribers and it'll be for the whole month of December. So be sure if you do not get my newsletter that you sign up at lisasalvatore.com. The link is below. Also, um, uh, like I said, it's 20% off of everything. You can use the code holidays for all of the services and then for gift certificates, you use the code gift. So I will hopefully hear from some of you. And without any further ado, I'm going to go into the readings for the month of December for each sign. Aquarius, here's your reading for December, for the month of December. This is for our Aquarius sun, moon, and rising for the month of December. What have we got for Aquarius? Let's see. Hopefully we got some good stuff to tell you, Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, I see some um, opportunities coming in. I feel like this has to do with business. So there's some opportunities. Some of you might be trying to sell your home and it feels like uh, it's it's been slow progress, but it does feel like uh, it's about, yeah, you've got ten, three tens here. So there's a lot of like wrapping up of cycles, like a lot coming to an end and new beginnings. So it feels like if you're trying to sell your home, that looks like it's going to happen. Now, <clears throat> for those of you that have been having troubles within your relationships, your personal relationships, that also seems like it's coming to, you know, full circle. Um, and even if some of you have to have an actual blow up, because here we have the tower, so you could have like an actual blow up and then that leads to 
uh, a new beginning, but there's a lot of new beginnings here for you for the sign, which is nice, but it feels like you're coming off of a place where it wasn't always feeling good. And you've had to get to a point of maybe some arguments or some tension to feel these good things. And I'll be honest, a lot of this feels like it's for the month of December. So some of the readings, I got a lot of stuff in the past, but this feels like it's more, um, for the month of December where it could be like you're sitting with, uh, you know, specific situations in your life, relationships, business stuff, and looking for the way forward. And all of a sudden, like there could be like a words exchange, heated words, a fight. And then that is what frees you and brings it to, um, you know, like a culmination. And then it becomes very positive because you have, I mean, the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles here is great, but you have the 10 of swords in the middle. So also too, for our Aquarians, you know, this is an air sign. So you tend to be very much in your head a lot and try to intellectualize emotions sometimes instead of like feeling them and spitting them out. And I feel like for the month of December, you're actually going to be, because you only have one, one card with swords here. And it's, it's good to me because it's the 10 of swords. So this is like that negative thinking is going to come to an end and you've got nine and 10 of cups here, 10 of pentacles. So you're really going into the heart center and you're, you're making this a reality to make the situation better for you, whatever, in whatever way it is. I also feel like a lot of you have some really good work opportunities that are coming in, which are going to lead to financial abundance. So this is also like, you know, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Am I saying that right? So like if you feel you're above specific opportunities or you know that you're above specific opportunities and somebody asks you to do something for them and it's like a small, you know, payback, let's just say. But in your, you know, you don't really want to do it because you're like, well, I'm better than that, or I, you know, I've come so far. I would say to do it because it almost feels like um, that is like a, a good fellowship energy that's going to lead you to a really good place for business. I feel so take opportunities that are coming to you this month. Anything that comes in, I want to tell you to like say yes to as much as you can um, because it is going to help you move towards. Uh, financial abundance for yourself and it will help bring other situations to a close for the better and so you won't be feeling stuck anymore I feel like September and October and November for this sign there was just a sense of like feeling suspended like um just kind of sitting there and waiting for something to shift and you know waiting for your ships to come in you've put some stuff out there and now it feels like December is the month where you're going to see a lot of um, positive feedback for your labors whether it's business-wise you know home life relationships, but you're going to get some positive uh, feedback for all that you've done, all that you've created, all that you've helped with. Um, this sign does like to be helpful too. So it's like everything you've, you've been helping others with too, you're going to get positive feedback on. You could get some nice unexpected gifts, um, opportunities. It's, it's really nice. It definitely feels positive for our Aquarius. Let me pull a crystal vision card. <clears throat> And see what we get. Shuffle these, Aquarius. Whoops, that one wanted to flip out. Sherry, I always, I never can say this one. I think it's Sherry Oat. Yeah, Cheryl. <laughs> anyway, it's a pretty purple stone. Um, this is a stone of self-love and self-acceptance. So yeah, so this is like, you know, being very, don't be so hard on yourself this month, Aquarius, because you do have a lot of good coming in. If you have a emotional altercation, don't hold back. Don't intellectualize what you're feeling. Just feel the feelings and go with it. And it will, it will bring you to a better spot because you do have a lot of um, new beginnings here. For this sign this is great so you should have a fairly positive december aquarius um, i will be back with another reading for you in january take good care and happy holidays